Welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. We're talking about the upcoming police and firefighters ball and how it's formed connections and partnerships in the community. So this event really benefits just beyond our first responders in uniforms. We're back with uh, Ashley Musselman, Jessica Kinnanen, and Nate Thompson, Captain Jim Finkbeiner to talk about those partnerships and those connections. Uh, a few segments ago, we talked about how this has grown in attendance, in, in money, in the funding. How has, it, how has it grown partnerships and connections throughout the community? Well, I think we were just talking about it, and mm -hmm. I think that Jim has some really good uh, insight on that. Yeah, I, you know, we talk about it, in, in the title itself talks about police and fire, but there's so many other pieces that are part of this, and, you know, I, you, you can't keep people out, like mm -hmm. dispatchers. Um, all the different public works, our public works department in our city, when things come out, and they come out and give us a hand. Um, uh, the electrical people, the gas people, all those kind of things. In, in a fire, there's a lot of other pieces um, that are all kind of in the back. But without them, you can't do. We can't do our job well either. Yeah. Um, and they help to make us safe in the same part. So, and and even in Nate's thing, it, it, that that is such a huge integral piece, you know, of of making sure that we we can do our job because they can help us do our job. So, and those uh, those pieces don't always get mentioned. And you know, sometimes, like you said, it starts with the first responders. Then you have all these other pieces, and then there's what happens after the trauma yep. and that's where you step in um, for someone who is unfamiliar with what you do explain what your organization is all about and specifically what you've been able to do with the, the funding through the fund yeah so um, we uh, we focus on cases that involve children who have been through uh, abusive situations or witnessed violence at home um, one of the things we do is coordinate uh, sort of a collaborative approach to those cases because we know that when there's a collaborative approach between law enforcement, prosecution, children's services, and other members, uh, that outcomes for the children tend to be better and outcomes in terms of criminal justice tend to be better. So it's that you know work of bringing folks in the community together to uh, work on these cases mm -hmm. for safety and uh, folks in the community. And Ashley and Jessica, you've been doing this for six years. I know, I remember when you yep. started it. Um, so to actually see the dollars being utilized and seeing the impacts and seeing programs that are able to happen and continue because of the work that you're doing how does that make you feel well it's incredible i mean we started the event just to honor for you know police and firemen we, that's what we started with and we just wanted to raise enough money to cover the cost of the event for these people and just give them a great night and what it's evolved into and you know with with how much we've been able to raise it's just it's just mind-boggling you know yeah it's it's been something that's an honor to be a part of and to be able to see the community support. A lot of the individuals um, that that Jim spoke of, they actually helped to sponsor the event. And so it's just coming together full cir circle on so many different ways to make our community better. Yeah. I just have to ask, what happens if there's an emergency that <laughs> happens while you're all at the ball? Or is there a crew that's left behind at the fire and police stations? Yes, yes we do have, we have tables for on-duty firefighters and on-duty police officers so they can still come and have a meal but they're usually stationed by the door and we hear pagers go off and they leave. <laughs> mm, interesting, so you see it all in action that night as well. Well, it's, it's certainly a wonderful event, an opportunity to say thank you and so many times maybe we forget to in those moments because that's just not something that is in the forefront of our minds. So uh, really great event. We're gonna tell you how you can still get tickets because those just became available last night. We weren't expecting to be able to pr promote tickets, so that's really exciting. We're going to take another quick break and lay it out for you one more time before we leave here this morning.